so in the last video i have replaced this account holder name from an array to pointer and for that pointer i have allocated a memory inside the default constructor and i have also allocated a memory inside the parameterized constructor and in the main function i am creating two different objects a1 a2 and i am printing those values for a1 a2 so when i run this code I am getting the output. Both the objects are getting displayed properly. But I told you that this code is having memory leakage because so if I go for Valgrind and account holder, then it will show me memory leakage of 17 bytes. So this memory leakage is because I did not delete the memory which is allocated inside the constructor. So how to delete the, this memory which is for account holder name of A1 and A2. So in the main function, can I say delete a1 dot acc holder name and delete a2 dot acc holder name. So if I try to compile this program now, then this is throwing an error. It is saying account holder name is private. So I cannot do this thing because this account holder name is declared as private data member of the class. So in main function, it is not possible to free the memory. So what I need to do when I am not able to access the private data members of data member of class directly, then I write some public member function in which I implement the code and that function I call inside the main. So I can write some function here. I can add some function here, which is say, free meme function and inside this free meme function i will write delete statement so how to write a definition for that return type is void then class name is account holder scope resolution and name of the function is free meme in this function i will write delete name of the pointer acc holder name write subscripts over here and this free meme function I will call for both the objects. So when I call it for a1 object, it will delete the memory, which is allocated for name of the a1. And when I call it for a2 object, it will delete the corresponding memory. So I say that a1 dot free meme and a2 dot free meme. Now let me run the code first. So if I run it, some error is there account holder name was not declared 19 number line here the name of the class is wrong account holder now let me compile so now it is getting compiled if i run it i am getting the output and even if i say valgrind if I check for memory leakage, then now there is no memory leak. So here the message is shown all heap blocks were freed. No leaks are possible. So this is correct. So I can free the memory using some public member function in which delete statement I have written. But in this case, what will happen that particular function, which is free meme function, I have to call it for every object. So suppose there are 100 or 1000 objects which are created, then at the end for each and every object, I have to call the free meme function to avoid the memory leakage. So instead of free meme function, it will be beneficial if I have some function which gets automatically called when object goes out of scope. So there is one function which is provided by C++ for this purpose and the name of that function is destructor. Like constructors are there in C++, in C++ there is a destructor. Destructor is a function which gets automatically called when object goes out of scope. Now how to write a destructor? Again destructor is also function name which same as class name. Only, only different thing is now it is preceded with some special symbol which is called as tiled. So this symbol is called as tiled T I L D E. So this will become destructor for account holder class. 
So instead of writing name of the function as free name, I will write destructor here. Now destructor also do not have any return type as that of constructor. So if I make this change, then in the main function I need not to call it explicitly. So I will print some message inside the destructor so that I will come to know that whether it is getting called. So see out. destructor compile run so you will see that destructor is printed twice at the end so it is getting called for both the objects for for a2 first and then for a1 so so sequence of destructor call is is always reverse as that of constructor if there are multiple objects a1 a2 a3 created then constructor call sequence will be a1 first then for a2 and then for a3 and this in that case destructor will first get call for a3 then it will get call for a2 and then it will get call for a1 so sequence of destructor call and constructor call is always reverse now if i check for valgrind then it is not showing any memory leakage so it is giving message all heap blocks were freed no leaks are possible so this is the use of destructor. So I will comment out this message. Use of destructor is if you are allocating memory in constructor for some pointer data member, then to delete that memory, you will implement destructor. Destructor will be only one for a class. It is not like default destructor, parameter destructor. You can have n number of constructors, but for every constructor, only one destructor will get call, which will delete that particular pointer so here i will write few points for a destructor first thing is destructor is also special member function with name same as that of class name and preceded with tiled sign then second point about destructor is destructors are implicitly called when objects goes out of scope destructor is implicitly called when object goes out of scope and third thing about destructor is it is implemented to remove the memory leakage destructor is implemented in a class to remove the memory leakage so if you do not have any pointer data member inside the class then you won't allocate memory and in that case there is no need to write the destructor so you will implement destructor only if there is a dynamic memory allocation inside the class so this was all about destructor so if you like the video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel i will see you again thank you